I finally finished painting my Cody helmet and accessories, and I'm really excited to share it all with you today on Darth Rage Reviews. <laughs> Reviews, your source for the force. Nah, for the Republic. Greetings, Force fans, and welcome to another episode of Darth Rage Reviews, your source for the force. As always, business first, y'all. If you're not subscribed, you're gonna want to be. I'm getting really, really close to 10,000 subscribers. You can see the number down there in the corner. Once I hit 10K, I'm giving away three lightsabers and a custom clone helmet details there'll be a video somewhere posted in the description you can click on it to give you all the details but step one is to subscribe and get me to 10k subscribers so do your part let's get this going all right guys so today we're talking about my cody build so as, as y'all know i am in the midst of uh building a second or it's technically a third uh set of clone armor for myself um, this time I'm going with the clone commander, Cody. Um, I mean, you got to admit, it's the best helmet out there. It is by far the best helmet out there. That thing is just cherry. Uh, you know, all these little accessories, got a camera on there, a radio antenna, whatever the hell this is. Uh, the visor, of course, for no apparent reason, you know, other than to look cool. So yeah, Cody helmet. Um, He's also got uh, these unique shoulder bells, uh, one with this script across here. If anybody can tell me what this is, uh, I've done all kinds of research on it, can't figure it out. Uh, my money right now is on like the artist who designed this armor. It has something personal with him, but I don't know, or her. Uh, I don't know for sure, but yeah. Uh, radio antenna on this as well. Um, that cool script piece, the really cool shape of the armor, um, the shoulder bells, it's completely different than other clone armor. Um, super cool. But by far, the coolest piece that Cody has is his jetpack. I mean, that's just a svelte little, you know, badass piece of clone machinery. I mean, that's the, the Kaminoans, com Kimonians, com whatever they are. They came up with a nice jetpack there, so uh, that piece as well. So this is uh, actually the first piece that I did that you know I'll call a face character. Um, so I had to be very specific and deliberate with the way that I made it look, with where the uh, uh, blaster marks are. Um, you know, I had to basically match the CRL, and uh, I pulled up several screenshots of Cody uh, from the movie. Um, so you had to kind of match all of these blaster marks, which are, you know, that's what, what he looks like. Um, same thing I'll have to do with the, the uh, other armor as well, the chest armor. Uh, tried to match those blaster marks and, and the uh, distress and, and weathering as closely as possible. So, yeah, that, that's the first time I've had to do that. And it was interesting, a little, you know, frustrating, but fun at the same time. And I think I did a really good job. So, you know, let's take a break here and show you guys the process you know I'd, I'd already put it all together except for the accessories that I had to you know paint separately and glue on um, so primarily the finishing was done it was just time to paint and actually went through at the beginning had a horrible time trying to use uh, Montana gold shock white and I had like six cans of it and every single one of them uh, just like messed up. They came out and sprayed out like, you know, popcorn ceiling. It was all textured and shit. Used three different times, had to paint this and sand it back down, paint it, sand it back down. Finally just got rid of those uh, Montana Golds and went with, uh, I think, a Rust-Oleum. Uh, and everything was fine from there. So uh, really, this, this is going to kind of take you through the painting and really more so the detail painting. Uh, so you can see this whole process in its entirety. So let's take a break. And through the magic of YouTube and video editing, let's show you this process. Process starts with a coat of white. Uh, started with some Montana gold white. It did not work. I had to resand this thing like three times. So then I just went to a Rust-Oleum. Then I'm going to show you a lot of the taping process here. Uh, with all of these multicolor helmets, there is a lot of taping. And it's 
takes a lot of time. Um, but if you tape it well, it makes the process a whole lot easier. So this is me taping off the black band, the black spark on the back, and the black vocoder. Black tends to be the first color that I throw down after I do the white. And always first step is to spray paint a coat of white over it. It fills in all the tape seams that might have missed. Then I put the black down. Next up, I'm taping up the maroon band. Yeah, there is a pink maroon band on the Cody helmet, and I'm taping it up here. And again, it's much of the same process. I just kind of tape it off, put that same cap that I already had on there, and we're ready to go. So I show putting the white down here uh, on top of where the tape is, but I don't actually show putting the maroon on, you know, bad me. I, I skipped that spot. So yeah, white over first, just to cover any spots where the tape might not be sticking down properly. And then you're going to throw whatever paint color you've got over top of it. It's a simple process, but it really helps if you, if you know, it'll help you having to go back and touch up if you do this first. So then whole process again taped down this is for the gray the charcoal gray parts on the helmet there's uh, the little band around the back the frown and uh, the earpieces so again white first just to kind of cover up any place where the seams might not be solid 100 percent and then it's that uh, the gray nice charcoal gray i got this is a uh, mtn 94 a montana brand paint um, and then on the very, very front of the bit, we got to put those uh, little sunburst spots in the orange. Next up are the shoulder bells. I love the shape of Cody's shoulder bells. Uh, and these are also that bright orange. I'm using a Montana Gold Orangina for this. Uh, color matches and it you know, just really pops. Uh, it's kind of an orangey yellow color. Um, almost like, I guess, a, a Tennessee Volunteer Orange. But yeah, both shoulder bells get a good hefty coat of that. Um, not much to it. Uh, I did uh, several coats on both of them uh, just to make sure that everything was covered, covered nicely. After I got that done, it was on to the visor. So the visor has a uh, pinstripe tape that I've already put on there over the white base coat and then just spraying that orangina. I don't recommend holding uh, the stuff that you're doing while you're spray painting it, but there just really was no way to, to get this all covered is literally every inch of it needs to be covered. Couldn't really set it down on anything. So I, I just held it and let it dry and then set it down and let it dry some more. Then comes the Mohawk stripe. So this is a stone colored paint uh, and it's, you know, adds to another layer of the colors on Cody's helmet. I think there's eight, maybe nine colors on this. Uh, so yeah, these are both the Mohawks that go beside the center Mohawk on the helmet. Um, I like the fact that Sanitized Creations offer these as separate pieces, so you don't have to do additional taping. You can just spray paint these separately, and then you glue them on next. Then it's all these little accessories. I've got uh, antennas. I've got the camera. Um, I did a lot of the silver stuff that I did on the helmet. I used a graphite rub technique, um, so I spray painted them gloss black. Uh, but yeah, these little pieces also had to be painted. A lot of little bitty extras here. Next up, it's the stencil. So Sanitize also offers a stencil to do the script writing that's on the side of uh, Cody's shoulder bell. I have no idea what it means. I've tried to look it up. If anybody does know what it means, I'd love to hear what your thought is. Um, but yeah, a little stencil down. Then I just put a couple coats uh, of white paint over top of that. Just hand painted it. Um, very simple, very simple. I uh, love this aspect. It's just another something different about Cody's armor, something that uh, only he has on it. And, you know, it's a way of personalizing. The clones were really big into personalizing their armor because obviously they all looked the same underneath. So a couple coats there, let it dry, and then it's just a matter of ripping off this uh, stencil. Uh, ripping, just pulling it off. Um, I could get most of it off by hand, but there were some small pieces in there as well that I needed to tackle with uh, a little file just to get them out. Um, again, I love the look of this. I have no idea what it means, but uh, really cool touch. Uh, my money, my bet is that it has something to do with like whoever it was that designed this personal armor. Um, you know, maybe it means something to them, but uh, yeah, very cool. I'm glad he provided a stencil because I don't know that there's any way that I would have been able to do that by hand. Uh, without a whole lot of frustration. 
All right, the jetpack is up next, and this is what makes Cody's armor cool and cooler than any other clones. Is that yeah, he's got a jetpack. Uh, really simple on this one. Uh, the nozzle of the jetpack comes off. This is the Galactic Armory uh, 3D file. So it's just a base coat of white. There's a small gray section on it, and then the nozzle gets a Montana Gold Copper Metallic. Really easy. I painted this on break at lunch. You can see my name tag there. Uh -huh. I just came home for lunch and decided to, you know, finish this off. Sometimes that happens at the end of these projects. I get really, really excited and just kind of want to rush through them all. So the metallic chrome, a couple coats of that. And then here's where I taped off the jet pack for the gray. Once again, very simple. And you'd see not already painted the white around it as well. Just didn't videotape that. Can only show this stuff so many times, you know. All right, next up is a process that I've really shown a lot, but I'll show it again. This is the acrylic black wash, and this really brings all the armor to life. So I love the clean-looking helmet, but uh, no, actually, I don't love a clean-looking helmet. I like a dirty helmet. Um, so this one, you just water down some acrylic black paint, and you paint it over the helmet, and you dab it, wipe it dry, you know, off with uh, paper towels. And I try to do, you know, wipe it all off. Sometimes I do a little dabbing. Sometimes I use a new paper towel. Sometimes I use one that's got, you know, all the paint already on it. Um, it you know, there, it really depends on kind of what you're wanting to do. But multiple run-throughs with this. Uh, you just do it again and again. And each time you do it, the paint gets a little bit more into the cracks and crevices and gives it a little life. Do this on all the pieces, the shoulder bells, uh, and the jetpack as well. Same process. You know, paint the paint on, dab it off, dry it off, good to go. Finally, it's time to add all the blaster marks and the detail weathering. So I've just got my phone here with a picture of Cody, and I'm doing a face character here. This is the first time I've tried to do a face character for 501st, so I'm basically having to match you know exactly what the character looks like so i'm just going off some screenshots i've got of them and trying to match these blaster marks just acrylic black black paint and i come back through and kind of dry brush around the edges to give it more dimension and you know feel more like it was something that was blasted on there same for the other two pieces uh or th i guess three pieces the shoulder bells and the jetpack also need similar markings um i did manage to sneak an x in uh on one of the shoulder bells i like putting a little x on uh, all of my armor it's like a little signature of mine i feel like um but yeah the shoulder bells uh also same kind of way those blaster marks come through and i do this after the black wash because the black wash can can wash off all of this stuff if you're not careful so i do it as the last step in there and then finally it's time for the dirty ears. So all clone trooper armor ears have this rusty kind of dirt going down them. Um, I use a raw sienna. Uh, this is acrylic paint again, and I'm just dry brushing it on. You can see I've got, I basically pick the paint up into the brush and then dab it into a napkin to get it almost all off. And then just dry brushing around the ears into creases just to give it that extra added dimension. And I think it looks really good. That's it. That's the process for painting a Cody helmet. That's how it all went together. Um, fun time. I spread this out, you know, over uh, really uh, about a month. Um, so I took my time. I'm in no rush to, to get any of this done. I just really wanted to do a good job with it. And I got to say, I am very pleased with the final result. Um, you know, I think this is honestly one of the, the best helmets that I've done so far. Uh, and the great thing about it is, yeah, once again, it fits. I didn't have to clamshell it. It fits. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Daddy's got himself a clone. Uh, clone commander. So, next step is the armor that's sitting in my garage. And, yeah, I really want to get started on it. But uh, it's still very, very warm here. So, I'm probably going to take my time on that as well just do a little bit when i can when it's not too hot because my workshop is in the garage there's no air conditioning in there and it's literally like 110 every day here so i'm gonna wait probably a month to get full into it but then i'm gonna start busting out the cody armor and get that knocked out and get ready to submit another clone so let me know in the comments what you think of this helmet it you know is this not the baddest coolest most awesomest helmet in uh, the Star Wars universe, I, I think it is.
and I think it's got them all beat. Um, let me know what you think. Do you like this? Do you like Rex is better, a standard clone trooper? Out of clones, who do you think has the best one? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like, give me a comment, give me a share. Do all that fun stuff. As always, I'm Darth Rage. This is Darth Rage Reviews, your source for the Force. The circle is now complete. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master.